Are you facing a problem that you want to solve by using the 5 whys root cause analysis technique? Or have you used this technique already but you couldn't solve your problem? Then you should make sure to watch this video until the end, because I will tell you what you are probably doing wrong and how to use the 5 whys the right way. Let's jump right into the content. First, let me show you the structure of this video. The first point I want to address is what the 5 whys in general is. Then I want to show you what most people are doing wrong while using the 5 whys with a practical example. And in the end, I want to show you what you could do instead in order to solve the problems efficiently and to fix the problems of the 5 whys. So what is the 5 whys technique? The 5 whys is a technique to identify root causes of a problem. Why do we use such techniques? Well, in order to solve a problem, we need to identify the root causes first and then tackle them. Without finding the root cause, we are only fighting against the symptoms of the problem. Without fixing the root cause, the problem will occur once in a while again. After clarifying what the 5 whys root cause analysis is, let's jump on how people use it. Now I will show you the generic steps and afterwards we will do an example together. So the first step is, people who use the 5 whys formulate the problem statement. Then they question it 5 times with a why. And after the fifth time, people think they have identified the root cause. So let's use this technique with an example. Let's use the example of being late for work. So the problem statement is, you are late for work. Now you ask yourself, why are you late for work? One possible answer is, you woke up late. Now you ask again, why? And the answer could be, the alarm clock didn't ring. Why didn't it ring? Because the alarm was not set. Why wasn't it set? because you forgot to set it. Now the question, why did you forgot that? And the answer is, maybe you were just too tired in the evening. This is how most people use the five whys. It's a linear process for them. This might work, but to be honest, this approach is full of flaws. Let me show you why. People forget that for every why, there is not only one answer. We are moving only in a biased direction. That's why we only identify one root cause, which in the end probably is not the right one or not the only one. We have to think broader than that. After every why, don't be happy with one result. Think more broadly. In order to enable divergent thinking, so thinking more broadly, we have to use the logic tree. In another video, I explained a root cause analysis technique based on the logic tree in detail. If you want to gain an in-depth knowledge, please make sure to watch it too. Otherwise, I will explain it briefly in this video. Now, I will show you how to use the 5 whys effectively with a logic tree. Let's take our late for work problem. The first step is to frame the problem. When I say frame, let's take a picture of the problem itself. Here you can see basically your way to work. What are the components we could structure our problem? So I personally, I see there is a street, there is you as a component and also your vehicle, and also other traffic participants. Let's build the logic tree based on our observations. We will have one branch per component. So your vehicle, the road, other participants and you. Now we can refine each branch with asking why could this component be the root cause? For your vehicle, why could the vehicle be the problem? Are there issues with the vehicle? like the engine didn't start a couple of times in the morning. Why the road? Is there a construction site that is usually not there, which causes a delay? Why other participants? Was there a traffic jam? And finally, why you? Have you made wrong decisions while driving? So maybe you, you just took the wrong road, or maybe you were just calling with a friend in the morning and just uh, forgot to go to the right direction. Or did you drive too slowly? Or did you wake up later? As you see, waking up later in this picture is only one possibility. But the previous 5 wise example focused directly on, on this, ignoring all the other paths. And this is the power of the logic tree and the flaw of using the 5 wise incorrectly. So let's stop making the 5 wise a linear process, because it isn't, that's not the case. It is multidimensional instead and way more complex. The logic tree helps us in keeping the overall overview so we don't get stuck in a single path or even in the wrong one. Alright, have you already considered liking and subscribing? For you it's free and it makes sure you won't miss out on the next videos and it helps me in growing the channel. So it's a win-win. Thank you for watching, take care, bye.